Dear friends, Welcome back to the series of videos on everything you wanted to know about fully fashion knitting. In the last video, we discussed how to make a fully fashion classic shoulder, flatbed knitted sweater. We discussed how to make patterns for the front, the back, and the sleeve. We also discussed how to determine the point where the sleeve shall join the main body, the way the front, the back, and the sleeve narrowing shall be done. To get the desired sleeve slope of 20 degrees. In this video we discuss how to make the saddle shoulder sweater. The shape of the saddle sleeve is special. The shoulder portion forms a straight band. Its front and back does not follow the shape of the bust up to the shoulder. The extension of the sleeve joins both front and back. And the extension of the sleeve covers the shoulder till the point where it joins the front and the back of the sweater and forms the shoulder drop of the sweater. The sleeve also becomes a part of the neck as well as the entire garment length. The front and back are seamed parallel to the shoulder instead of at an angle as in the raglan sleeve. Let us discuss how to make a pattern for this style. The first few steps are the same as for any other style. Up to the point where we mark the sleeve slope line and draw the rectangle of the cuff. If you are watching this video as your first video of the series, I would suggest please watch my earlier videos first and then watch this video. Otherwise, you may miss some points discussed in this video. Coming back to pattern making to determine the point where the sleeve shall join the main body. We use the same technique we used in raglan sleeve style, or classic shoulder style, or where armhole measurement is not given. We draw a perpendicular on the sleeve slope line, which is equal to the width of the sleeve, and move it along the sleeve slope line, where the lower end of the perpendicular meets the chest line. This is where the sleeve shall join the main body. We draw a parallel line to this line 2 centimeters or 1 inch away. We complete the profile of the sleeve. We draw a horizontal line from the point where sleeve joins the main body. On the sleeve line we draw a perpendicular equal to the sleeve top. That is 3.5 centimeters. We draw a parallel line equal to this line. We join the ends of these lines and extend this line in both directions. On the horizontal line where sleeve joins the main body, we draw a line at 65 degrees and extend it till it crosses the line drawn parallel to the sleeve line which is 3.5 centimeters apart. We remo the extra lines. We highlight the lines of the front panel and we complete the profile of the front panel. We highlight the lines of the back panel and we complete the profile of the back panel. We highlight the lines of the sleeve panel and we complete the profile of the sleeve panel. Next, we add seam margins and we grade the panels for different sizes. Now that we know how to create the pattern for a saddle shoulder sweater, we must learn to do the necessary calculations to be able to knit the panels in the right shape. With cut and sew ready-made garments it is enough to make the right pattern. As we trace the pattern shape on the fabric, cut it and stitch the cut panels. But for fully fashioned garments, it's necessary to convert the patterns into knitting data that contains information of the shape to knitted in terms of needles and courses. And for this, we need to know the exact measurements of the lines drawn to create the pattern. So let us start working on understanding the basic facts. The first question would be, but why sleeve top shall be 3.5 cm? If you look at the picture it is evident that the sleeve top shall not go below the back neck drop. We normally keep the back neck drop as 1 inch or 2 centimeters. But for this style, I would recommend the back neck drop shall be maintained at 2.5 centimeters. 
if we keep the back neck drop 2.5 cm. The point where a balanced back neck drop will become a straight line will be 2.5 cm down and 2.5 cm away from the HPS. If we use the Pythagoras theorem, we know the hypotenuse is the square root of the squares of base or adjacent and the opposite of a right angled triangle. 2 times the square of 2.5 is equal to 12.5 and square root of 12.5 is equal to 3, 53 or 3.5 cm. For the calculations of front and back panels, we first need to determine the position of A, which is where sleeve meets the main body. The position of point A is the distance between K and L, which is the total length of the garment. That is 70 centimeters minus ED and AD as shown in the illustration. ED is equal to the tan value of 20 degrees multiplied with EI where EI is equal to half of chest width minus half of neck width. In numbers it is equal to 29 minus 8.75 which is equal to 20.25 and 20.25 multiplied with 0 0.36397 is equal to 7.4. The distance between D and A is equal to FA that is the sleeve width divided by cos value of 20 degrees, which is equals 0 0.93969. Therefore, 21.5 divided by 0 0.93969 is equal to 22.9. This makes AE equal to 22.9 plus 7.4 that is 30.3. This means the point A is 70 minus 30.3 which is equal to 39.7 centimeters from the bottom edge. To knit up to point A, we need to knit 32.7 cm after knitting the rib of 7 cm. Now that we know that after finishing the rib knitting of 7 cm, we need to knit 32.7 cm and then we start narrowing. To reduce needles between point A and B, we have to do this while we knit courses that cover height between B and C to know distance between AB and BC. We need to determine distance between AC. We know the angle between GA and C. It is 45 degrees. Therefore, AG equals AF. That is sleeve width equals 21.5 minus FG that is equals 3.5. Therefore, AG equals 21.5 to 3.5 equals 18 cm. Using Pythagoras theorem, AC is equal to square root of square of AG and GC. AG and GC are 18 centimeters. Therefore AC equals square root of 648. Thus AC is equal to 25.5. As we now know that AC is equal to 25.5 centimeters. Therefore, we can easily find out distance between A and B. And between B and C, AB is equal to AC multiplied with cosine value of 65 degrees. In numbers it is equal to 25.5 multiplied with 0 0.4226. This equals to 10.8 centimeters. And BC is equal to AC multiplied with sine value of 65 degrees. In numbers it is equal to 25.5 multiplied with 0 0.9.063 is equal to 23.1 centimeters. We therefore need to reduce the width by 10.8 centimeters. While we knit 23.1 centimeters of length, we know AE is equal to 32.7 centimeters and back neck drop is equal to 2.5 centimeters and half neck width is equal to 8.75 centimeters. Therefore, from C to H we need to reduce the width of 10.7 cm while we knit 4.7 cm. For the sleeve calculations we need to calculate IF which is ID plus DF. ID is IE divided by cosine value of 20 degrees. In numbers it is 
21.25 divided by 0.93969 and is equal to 22.6 cm. FD is equal to FA multiplied with tan value of 20 degrees. In numbers it is 21.5 multiplied with 0.36397 is equal to 7.8 cm. The distance IF equals 22.6 plus 7.8 and it is equal to 30.4 cm. For sleeve. Therefore, we need to knit 34.6 cm. After knitting the 7 cm of rib and increase the width from 7 cm to 21.5 cm. Thereafter, in 18 cm of Knitting we have to reduce 18 cm in width. After that we need to knit 3.5 cm of width for 12.4 cm. But to compensate for the neck, we knit 2.5 cm extra. What we discussed is the conventional way to make a saddle shoulder sweater. This unique style can be made in different ways. Like if you want that the sleeve top shall cover more of the front and not just 3.5 centimeters. It can be done and would look good as well. The front and the back will have different shapes, the front will be a little smaller. And at the same time the sleeves will not be symmetrical. The other way to make the saddle shoulder is we make the back and the sleeves the same way. As we make the classic shoulder, the front is made in such a way that the front finishes where the second narrowing of the back starts. This style also not only looks good but fits well too. With this we have dicks us how to knit sweaters. In all the different styles of fully fashioned sweaters. But I will continue. To make and upload. More videos which will discuss. The finer points of fully fashioned knitting techniques. So this is not the end, there is a lot more to come. Keep watching. Technicians. Programmers. Product developers, designers, and companies interested to get the measurements of their proto samples right in the first go can also try my software for knitting data calculations. The calculations used are accurate, and you can easily make a garment with not only the right specs, but a garment that looks good and fits even better, elevating the image of the wearer. To obtain a copy please do contact me at email p-u-r-i-s-k-5-1 at gmail dot com or on my mobile number country code 91 number 8146400900 If you have liked this video, please don't forget to click the like button and if you have found it this video useful Please share this video as much as you can with your friends and colleagues. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. By subscribing the channel you will automatically get notification of the next uploaded videos. Thanks for watching. For more detailed information, you may go through my book on fully fashion sweater manufacturing. A guide to fully fashion sweater manufacturing. Published by Woodhead Publishing India Private Limited. The book is available in leading book stores in almost all countries around the world. It is also available on Amazon. Throughout the series, your valued suggestions, as well as questions, will be welcome, and I shall be too glad to answer all your queries. You can contact me by email p-u-r-i-s-k-5-1 at gmail.com or on my mobile number, country code 91, number, 8146400900.